They, their doctrine. Yes. He argued in it. For example, uh, the Catholics yeah. believe in something called uh, uh, cons no, yeah, tra transubstantiation. Yes. While but the Protestants believe in the other one, con uh, yeah. substantiation, yeah. which is two different doctrines. Because mm. one is saying okay. literally. The, the the wine and the biscuits turn uh, yeah. sorry my bad What's, what do you call the bread, bread. The bread? Yeah. I don't want to be offensive that's yeah. why uh, the, the wine and the bread literally turns into the blood and uh, body of Christ right. while the Protestants say no it's a symbolic okay, meaning yes. but that's two different okay, so now we have here. with Islam right when they, when, they, when when Islam first started coming into the history yes you had many different companions who had many different like you know debates about what surah should be in the Quran so Ibn Ibn Masood, Ibn Ibn, Ibn Kab. sorry sorry so what, what surah should be uh, like, in the Quran so you know like you had uh, companions the Sahabas of Muhammad yes I know I, know. I believe it was Ibn Ibn Masood and Ibn, uh, Ibn Kab. where I believe they had a like debate on which recitation should be in the Quran how many surahs should be in the Quran no. and you can see in the, in the hadith where like uh, the, the can you bring me a, a I'll try to find it where this so where I the, want to make yeah, sure you know where the Sahabas of Muhammad they must they had like debates on the different recitations one believe this is how one should be reciting the Quran another believe this is how you should be reciting the Quran but on how wait, how the recitation yeah, like should be the, made yeah yeah made no but that's the issue though that's, but, that's that's two different things yeah. I'm saying we have a complete different doc like one okay. is saying literally, but this one is, not, is saying figuratively, but now we are but this saying is what, Muslims, this is what I'm saying. How we say the main stuff. doctrine of Christianity, the foundation of Christianity is the gospel of Christ. That That's Christ right. came to die for our sins and to, and to raise himself back up on the third day. That message, the Catholics believe that, the Orthodox of people course, believe yeah. that, the you, Protestants you believe, that. believe that. And we but believe, we believe just well, because they have different, different changed, points, it, it does not mean they aren't saved. But no, no, it's because they are flesh no, no, and sometimes they can view scripture in a different way. But I have to say, you did move on a bit from the thing. I'm saying that the doctrine yeah. of, 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 of the Eucharist... What's the doctrine of Christianity though? I'm not talking... The, the doctrine of, of Christianity... It's is not the Eucharist. The, no, no, I know. It's the gospel. It's Jesus, it's Jesus That's the main the gospel, yeah. I know. But now we're saying the idea of the Eucharist okay. is, it varies. Yeah. But how, it has, do, it, I know, yeah, okay, but how do I know which one's going to be right? Okay. If, 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 you're, if you're arguing over these type of mm. stuff, and say and have different viewpoints. Yeah. So it's like one it's has like to be okay. wrong and one has how to be do you know right. which, how do you know what Muslim uh, Muslim is right? Is it is it Sunni? Is it Wahhabi? Well, is it ah, Salafi? Right. No, no, which Muslim well, is sorry, right? The, the, the same thing. No, 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 it's not. No, the, the Hanafi, the Maliki. Now, I'll tell you. Hanafi, Maliki, Maliki yeah, Shafi'i. Yeah. They, uh, Hanafi, Maliki, yeah. Shafi'i. What's the uh, Hanbali? Yeah. They all have came and said that neither one is like. It's haram if you believe in the one. There is no kufr, there is no yes. right or wrong between each other. The yeah. They're all the same. But yeah. it's the same thing with no, no, but it's the same no, no. the Pentecost, we but all believe that Jesus no, no, Christ hold is Lord. With the Eucharist though, yeah. like, one is saying <laughs> this is literal, the other is saying it is figurative. Yeah. And if I bring right. a Catholic, yeah. would he say right. the person right. who believes it's yeah. figurative mm -hmm. leaves the fold of Christianity? Um, I wouldn't say so. As, as I said, the main the main doctrine of Christianity is the, is the gospel of Christ. No, I know, I know. I get. Yeah. I get but as I said, men, mankind, we are flesh. We can have differences. Yeah, yeah. It does not mean just because he's a Catholic, he's unsaved. You can have it does not mean that. But the belief of the beliefs in the Bible yeah. shouldn't yeah. have differences because that's made by God. Is you believe? Yes. For example, the Quran. We have no differences in the Quran. Okay. There is no debate which and there is no as Do you know Danny Brubaker is? Actually, huh? Danny I, have, Brubaker? I, have, I have documentation. So Danny Brubaker was a, um, a scholar in, in, in Islam. He's a scholar in the text of variants of Islam and he has looked at the original manuscript of the Quran and he has found out there have been some differences of the manuscripts from yeah, the time of Muhammad to the, to the books to we have now. Okay. Can I see this evidence? And this it's, person, the, it's, a, it's a scholar called Danny Brubaker. Danny, I suggest Danny Brubaker. Greenbaker. Brubaker. Brubaker. You should read his book. But okay. before we get there, I still want to ask but a question though. I want to I wanna say... I'm not going to okay. go away. Okay. The worst Quran... No, 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 don't go. Uh, but no, so his work... How many, his how many Quran's is it? One, two... Three, is it only him that says this? Or is that he's he's a well-known scholar in Islam. So he must... I'll look into it. But the issue again stands. The issue stands. It's two things. One is, you admit there's a translation error in the Bible. There's scribal errors, like text of variants. Which, 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 in my humble opinion, no, it's not, bro. Look, it's, if that it's happens, it's the same Quran, bro. It's I cannot fully really believe it. But how is the message? The there is no tra look, translation look, error. Look, look, As I said, Daniel look, Brubaker. Look, Daniel look, Brubaker has said it. Daniel Brubaker. Okay, can you give me one of these exactly. examples? Exactly. I believe, like, I don't know the exact yes, words, yes, but yes, he's got a full book talking about the manuscript of the Quran. Yes, but I want to talk. So, as I said, with the Eucharist, I want to go back to that. Copious errors. Yeah, that's what we had. 
not, it's, it's not copying errors. Different? It's copying errors from the scribe. Right? There's more. The I got plenty more. Uh, yeah, so we, that's what we had. That's what one about. So when we have the Bible, we have scribe and errors, which was what I was talking to you about. So when they were when they were copying the when they were copying the Bible, there was there was like copious errors. But I want to go back to the Eucharist. Guys, guys, I got it. Guys, guys, I just still waiting. I know, but I can't. I want to. I want to go back to the 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 term of the Eucharist stuff like that. Yes, we Christians, we can have different views or opinions, but that does, does, does not mean that one is saved or one isn't saved. It does not mean that. We, as we said, we look at the main message of Christianity. We're having a nice discussion, Suraj. Suraj, if you disturb me, I'll disturb you. Suraj, if you disturb me, I'll disturb you. If you disturb me, I'll disturb you. Okay, yes, yeah, so as I said, like the main message of Christianity, that's what stands, and that's what we look to. Even if we did not have the Bible, Christianity will still stand. Wait, so these, okay. So, you're, so wait, you say, so there was they were, there was errors, Bible errors, where these copyists, they these copyists were making something. You guys were, highlighted them, so you guys know these are errors. We know these errors, yeah, yeah. They were so why haven't they not been corrected? They have. There's Some more, scholars um, have actually there's there's made more. books where they have like corrected these errors. I'm gonna show you. There's plenty more. So, wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can you read the Arabic? Can you read the Arabic? Can you? Sorry. Right. We're talking. You know what? That would be nice. I have the paper and I've lost it. It's okay if you have to come. Take a picture, I'm going to the let me take a picture because I, I have okay, a piece okay, of okay. I have papers. So yes, so, so in the Bible, everything's written in the footnotes. Where the scribes have made the errors, scholars have put them in the footnotes. They've written them down in the footnotes where like some errors may have been translated. See, look, but this is, this is again, this is again an issue for me. Is now we're relying on these scholars to uh, fix stuff. But in the Quran, we're not relying on scholars to fix stuff in the Quran. The Quran is as, as it is, as the Prophet gave us, yeah. is it is. We don't need someone saying, oh, How do you no, know it is as it is? Uh, I'll tell you What's how the earliest manuscript you have? Huh? The earliest manuscript is uh, Birmingham manuscript. Because we don't just work off manuscripts. We are able to, we're able to memorize the Quran. Okay. The Quran is an oral uh, 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 book. Okay. We're able to preach it. And memorize it. We see kids memorizing the Quran. Okay. But with the picture and go. Okay, brother. The thing is, those are the verses. Yeah. In King James version, other versions yeah. were removed. In King James version, is. Have we talked about that? We discussed about that. So yeah, yeah. Okay. So look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. In the Quran, yeah. you're not going to open a book and see a footnote saying, "Oh, Sheikh Ibn Saad." Uh, said this this word means this. Yeah. No, you will not find this. The Quran is given raw, but the Bible, as you're saying, there are footnotes yeah. where certain scholars are saying uh, this. That's again showing that there's there's a lack of credibility. Because how can I, where do these scholars bring their information from? Well, I, I told you, but like if your original manuscript, they may, they have been some. Obviously, I'm got manuscripts in me, but Daniel Brubaker, scholar in Islam has went to your manuscripts and the Topkati manuscript which you have in the, I think it's in the 8th century is not what you have in the Quran today in the Cairo Quran, 19, 1924 Quran, it's not what you have today I'll need to look into this book before I get into in, in this topic because from my point of view I see this as nonsense now you might say this is biased okay. but I need to read it first so don't take my word let me read it into this okay. let, me, let me write it down but also there's, you know how you have, you, have, you have different translations you have Hafs Quran and Walsh Quran why do so many people disagree with different like relations of the Quran? Some people believe some people believe in like in, in, in speakers' corner here, they brought many different Qurans. And these some of these verses they had scribal errors. Which is not a big wait, thing. Sorry, 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 wait, wait. You're saying You know Yasser Qadi, Yasser Qadi. Yasser Qadi is a scholar in Islam. Yasser Qadi agrees that the Quran is not what we it's not truly preserved. Yasser Qadi. He, he, okay. no, hold on. I'm sorry. But I can I can bring you right now. That's unfair. You're bringing one person an anom anomaly yeah. and claiming we can take his word as factual. I can I'm, I'm just game, giving you scholars because you, you're not taking my word. What's his credibility? Yasser credit? Qadi is, is a well known. He's an academic. He's an academic, academic in Islam. Uh, no, 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 but that's the issue though. I can right now bring you academic in Christianity yeah. claiming, ah, I know someone yeah. personally yeah. that claims Jesus isn't God. Yeah. He, but he says he's Christian. Mm. Would that mean that, oh no, Christianity says that uh, Jesus isn't God in actuality? Because one man says That's this. right, that's right. Yeah. No. So it's unfair for you to bring me this scholar, which we don't know his, cred his, his credentials, mm. we don't know anything about him, and he's one deviant evidently, because all the rest of the scholars yeah. say the opposite. So how would you, if you want to look at, because ancient history, let's be, let's be honest, okay. ancient history, you're not going to have everything truly, yeah. 
You know, can have everything truly. This is Yasser Qadi, by the way. He is a scholar in Islam. Right. He's right. a scholar okay. in Islam. We, 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 we so like Yasser Qadi is a Pakistani American Muslim scholar and theologian. Of course. So yeah. So, so, so yeah. And he's the one that Muhammad Hijaz studied under. By the way, by the way. So in the in the ancient history, with an ancient history, with an ancient history, with an ancient history, you're not going to have everything to the perfect T. No, we have to, we have to look to what we can what we have now. No, but I'm, as a Muslim, I don't follow these rules because my my book is made by Allah, and I can say with confidence. Allah or the Allah was made by Muhammad. No, it's, it's the word of God. How do you know that? It is the word of God. Any any witnesses that knew is that saw Allah give these words to Muhammad? Or was was it, okay, okay. Was there any witnesses to the uh, the what's it called the adulterous woman? I didn't. That's what I'm saying. I don't agree with that woman. Uh, that verse to be in the Bible. But, but then, but there are people that say they would agree. I know. So, then, so the the verse about John seven fifty three, the adulterous woman. Yes. This it, it may have been a Bible. So we had also had a, um, something called oral tradition, where some someone may have heard a story, right, and they may have wrote it wrote it down, which the original manuscript did not contain. Like you have the Birmingham manuscript, you only have Surah Taha and Surah Kafin. So wouldn't the um, the the King James are based in the text as we set this? And so, the, when they were uh, reading this verse about the adulterous woman, it may not have been in the original uh, manuscript because these manuscripts were written in papyrus. They're written in leaves, which it may have like worn out. And later on, a scribe must have like heard this tradition from somewhere else, and they must have wrote it. See, look, I understand what you're saying, but again, this is an issue for me. This is a major issue okay. for me. So you're admitting that someone potentially just wrote something and put it in the Bible. They, it, okay, it may, it may have. It may have been some scholars don't agree with it to be in a Bible, but some scholars do because they believe it may have been part of the oral tradition. You see, you see that's, the, that's, the, that's the major issue for me. But does it does it have an issue on the resurrection of Christ? No, no, no. But no, it doesn't. No, no, no. it does. How? It does. I'll tell you how. Because now, because there's witnesses to the resurrection of Christ. No, but here's the issue now with, with your with your story. Is now you're saying that potentially someone might have written something and put it in the Bible. Okay. How I can say now, okay, because this happened once, how do I know if this hasn't happened with the rest of the Bible? Because then they will go by the original manuscript to have. So they were going. The original going, manuscript you have is the fourth century. But you know the adulterous woman that came, that, that yeah. verse came in the text of Receptus, wait, wait, which, is written, which is written in the 10th century. century. Which is why. The Ethiopian Bible, that was the, reason, in the fourth century. That was in the fourth so, century. Yeah, it was. So, so how do I know? The same, between, the same Bible that they have in the fourth century is the same Bible I have now. It's the same thing. No, okay, Jesus but, Christ is Lord. No, because now. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. Can I interrupt? Can I interrupt, please? I have not answered my question. The adulterous woman, when did it come? That came around the 9th to 10th century. But that's why we That's why the Codex Fanaticus, that's based on like a, 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 a the new international version. So the, if scholars will look on the original manuscripts, which is and from that's the what they century. from the fourth century, and that's what they would write to know. But, but as I said, it does not matter about the details of the Bible. What matters is the message. No, no. The message has never been changed. No, but the it message hasn't been changed. It hasn't. No, no. The gospel of Christ. No, no, that's no, the main this, message. This is the issue. This is the issue. If there's one change, and because this is, do you believe it's the word of the God Bible? I believe it's the word of God given to man, inspired by God to so man. If if the word of God yeah. potentially is able to be corrupted and changed, right. yeah. God's word cannot be corrupted. That you just admitted that uh, certain verses are being put. But in. don't you have to agree? You have to go. With the, you have to agree in the Quran. It says in Surah 547, Surah 3, verse 3. In Surah 2, Baqarah, right. it says to confirming the word, Allah confirms the Injil. He confirms the Torah. Right. If you're saying the gospel is corrupted, you're saying ah, Allah's words are corrupted. No, yeah. the Injil. Is, is, uh, what does Injil mean? Injil means Porto Evangelion, which means good no, no, news. No, no, hold up, hold up, it means good news. No, no, hold up, hold up. Wait, sorry, 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 sorry. You just made a statement. Which, okay, you're saying this is Islamic. Which Islamic scholar would agree with this? On what? Wait, you said, so the gospel, what is, what's Injil? The gospel is no, a, it's a, it's a Greek word for no, no, good no, news. What, no, the, when the Quran says the, the Injil has been like, it's confirmed. Yes. Which, what is, what is the Injil? It says in the Quran, where it was, a, it was no, a, I know, I know. It was the, it was the word given to Jesus Christ. Uh, and we believe that the gospel was given to Jesus Christ, that he will come to die for our sins and raise back up on the third day. We believe that. The gospel we're speaking about is the one given to Jesus. Where is it? You don't know. Exactly. Okay. That's can, I, that's what I can I can I show you how this pretty much disproves Islam? How? Because within the ancient history, yes. when a text is made, what they do is they make copies and copies of the sources. Yes. So if there was an yes. angel this man is talking about, we should at least have one copy no, of this no, gospel no, no, that the Quran talks no, about. No, no, Where is it? No, who corrupted it? Who corrupted it? Who corrupted it? You guys corrupted it. Who? You. If it, no, it, this is no. a lie. No, no. Can I tell you if, how we If got... somebody had corrupted the Bible, hold then, on, right? Hold on, hold on. They would have documented that this person corrupted the Bible. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me just say somebody corrupted the Bible with no evidence, no proof. You just admitted 
that in the ninth century, as you said, mm -hmm. that they added a story about the adulterous woman. Isn't okay. that not corruption? Well, like some people. It, it, yeah. Isn't it, that not corruption? I want to say it, it didn't corrupt the message of Christ in any way. No, but it is. It, is, it, is, it may have. They may have. Is, it, may, it wasn't Bible, a corruption in any way. the Bible, the message what of Christ. Where is the message of Christ? Okay. Huh? What is the message okay. of Christ? The Bible is your belief. What is it? Huh? What is it? How is it? Under my belief, the, the, the message, message of God. The message of Christ has never been changed. Right, you ready? Christ you ready? is the oneness of God. That's the message right. of Christ has never been changed. But right. no, no, if you're no, agreeing no, for that to be right. tampered with, you're going against your own book. No, 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 Allah no. confirms the injury no, no, no. and the Torah. Right. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Sorry. This is the topic. No, no, no. He agrees I, with the Torah according to Torah. I have it. He come in. Ask him. No, come on. He come in. I will disturb you. I will disturb you. I will disturb you. I will disturb you next time. I will disturb you next time. I will disturb you next time. Allah, I'll, 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 guys, guys, can't describe. No, I know, I know. It's a big, it's a big. Guys, guys, let's have a look. Justify his point, but you cannot. You guys are never going to finish. What according to Quran? For the sake of, for the sake of the people, let's have a bit of order. Let's have a bit of order. You look. Here's the issue. Is the Bible? No, no, hold up. So you're, so you're saying. That the message of Christ is in the Bible. Yeah, instead, it's, it's in the it's in the Bible. Yes, the gospel. So, so, the mess is so in the, the Bible. Bible is in the, word of the Bible is 66 the books, and, and the gospel of Christ is part of that. It's part of it. Yes. So the Christ part is but, the word of God. Now. But when we talk about corruption, okay, when we when we talk about corruption, what we look at is the message of Christ, which is what that's, the Bible. It's the gospel. That's the, that's what we look at. Okay. The Bible may have, and we confess it. It may have had scribal errors in. Or somebody may have heard heard something from an or have heard something from someone which may have not been true and accidentally and may have like mistakenly wrote it. We believe these things happen. But the message of Christ, my friend, has never been changed. But no, no, okay, what what is the message of Christ? The gospel. That he came to die. That the Son of Man that the Son of Man came to die for our sins. And on the third day, raised back so up from the, the dead. So the Bible, what is it then? That Wait, the what, Bible. What do you consider the Bible? Then? The Bible is a library of sixty-six books. So it isn't the Word of God. It's the Word of God given to man. So when the when the Word of God was given to man, is that right? The Bible? Okay, yes. Listen, it was given. It was given to. I will allow you to speak just to him. I am. We have a nice conversation. Take you guys different way. We have a nice. We have a nice conversation. You can talk to him. So when the Bible was written, when the when the Word of God was given to man, what man? would do they would make copies copies and copies and copies and sometimes they would be scribal errors and with John's John 758 but it, it may be as with John's with John okay, uh, okay. with John's with, with John 758 that may not have been in the original manuscript because that may have worn out because it was written in papyrus it can wear out. So like you have in a Birmingham manuscript, not everything is written in there. So, so it can be, it can be, it could be destroyed, and then they can add it in again. Right? That's why we have scribes. And when when something would be destroyed, yeah, that's why you don't see this in the third and the fourth manuscript because it may have been destroyed. So then if but in the seventh manuscript, in the in, in, in the latest one manuscript, in the King James one, somebody may have heard this message from somebody orally, which is why they must have wrote it so down. So that means the Bible has no. Like authentication of authentication of verses on who can put on in verses in the Bible, which again for me is saying I can't trust the Bible because now well, the Bible anyone can put in. Things. But the, the Bible, as I said, is based on the historical evidence of Christ, and these events we see. Hey, happened hey, in the oh, Bible. The These disciples you see, they existed. No, no, but the thing is, though, they existed. No, but these events, yeah. for example, the adultery from the dust. Is it as you okay. said? So for, for, some people, for some people, for some people, some scholars such as John Barton. John Barton is, is a scholar in the New Testament. Wait, wait, wait. So John Barton, he's a scholar in the New Testament. He said about this, the John 7:58. It, it was written down through an oral transmission, where it was not. It was. It would have. It would have worn out in the in the early manuscript. And later on, when the scribes were making these copies, they would have heard something from the teacher, and, and then added then they added in. But again, that's that's a huge issue now, because no, now, it's, it's not an issue. No, because now you're saying is, so the fourth century manuscript, the oldest one, yeah. wouldn't have the adulterous woman. That they does not have it now. Huh? That does not have it now. So they waited till the ninth century or eighth, yeah. was it ninth or eighth? Mm. Ninth century or eighth to add it in again. Mm. So a full would that be like? Hunt, like a yeah. couple hundred years yeah. Yeah. before they add in another, the, the verse again. Mm. All of a sudden, now that's a bit risky. So now that, that 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 time difference, a lot can happen. Right. That, you know, Chinese whispers. If I say to him something, he says to him something. He says to him something. He says to him something. The word will change. Yeah. That's human. So now, all of a sudden, you are prone 
to the, the, that event not actually being the truth. Yeah. But how is the message? How is, but how does that affect the main message of Christ? I'll tell you how. The gospel because of Christ. Now, now what you're saying is, then as as this verse was corrupted. Mm. How do we know the same thing where Jesus talked yeah. about the Father, Son and Holy Spirit? How do we know that verse wasn't corrupted then? Because as you said, the, the Bible is prone to being destroyed and it's prone to people adding stuff in it. How do we know those verses weren't added in that yeah. affirms the Trinity? Because right. remember, the Trinity, when does the Trinity debate occur? That, in, that's, in, no, no, no. So in the Council of Nicaea, that was a debate on the divinity of Christ, if he was a son of God or if he was God. The Trinity was there in the first century because we see church fathers, Polycarp, Tertullian, Ignatius, they were quoting the Trinity. Didache was quoting the, the verses of the Trinity. So, so, so the Council of Nicaea, that was, that was a debate because there was a guy called Arian. Arian was a guy who said that Jesus was not God, but he was a created being. So then the Council of Nicaea was a debate used to, you know, to rebuke the fact that he wasn't a created being but was God. So no, but the Trinity is in the Bible. So, now the the Bible. So, so the Trinity is in the Bible. Okay. No. But the issue is now, is you had an, a, a major event to confirm whether or not that, that the divinity of Christ. Yeah. If this occurred for us Muslims, I would be honest and say, I will doubt Islam. But the thing is though, this never happened with us Muslims. There was, there is no debate about Tawheed. Yeah. There is no debate about the Prophet Muhammad. Wasn't there, wasn't there a debate about the word of Allah if it was eternal or not? Is it eternal or not? Wasn't there a debate about that at one time? I'm pretty sure there was a debate if the word of Allah was eternal or not. Is this, is this when? Like, what I can't remember, but I'm pretty like, sure. Is this, recent? Is this like No, no, no. This was like in the early Islamic history where there was a debate. Uh, but there were many. So, there, so but there's also, there's, there's, there's definitely many, many debates on like which Sharia law should be the correct one. Ah, but you know, those debates mm. are two different things. What, the Nicene doctrine is literally debating, as you admitted, the doctrine or the word of God, which mm. God sent down, which yes. is, by your logic, the, 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 the Jesus is God. Yes. You're having a debate, hes hesitating whether that's true or not. Yeah, because Islam, you will not see such hesitation. Tawheed. No Muslim on this planet will. Why is there always a debate between Shias and Sunnis then? Ah, uh, Shia and Sunni. Look, Shia and Sunni. Firstly, they don't debate about Tawheed. They don't say there's more than one God. Yeah. They don't but this is what I'm saying, CG. No, but the thing is, that every denomination, we believe in the blood of Christ. We no, no. believe in the sacrifice of Christ. No, 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 so it does not change the no, 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 doctrine no, of Christianity. No, but you're, you're contradicting yourself. It does not you just said the, the Nicene doctrine yeah. is a guy saying no, the yeah. divinity of God isn't true. Yes. Shia and Sunni. But they, Arian, Arian still believe Jesus rose from the dead. Huh? Arian, he still believed Jesus rose from the dead. Arius. No, 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 but that's different again. It's you're not. Say, look, look. Jesus rose from the dead. Okay. Okay. And if Jesus rose from the dead, yeah. it means Christianity is true. How? So, because we base our so we base the evidence. If so, if okay, if Jesus came here on earth, yes, he's the words which he said was true. How do you know? It's he true? died and came back alive. No. Has any man died and came back alive? Ah. So now, did okay. Muhammad die and come back alive? No. Exactly. No. So when Jesus said he is the life, he is the resurrection, so he's the way. That, so by listen, that logic, listen. I know people. He's the way, the truth, and the life. If okay. he said these words and proved it by coming back alive, it means what he said was true because no man has people. ever came back alive from the grave. No, no, that's actually not true. People have died on the hospital bed and come back to life. Does that mean they're God? They've died and come back to life. No, yes. no, that's, that's something called near death experience. Where well, they're not fully died, but Jesus Christ died for three days. He was there and came okay. back alive. Yes. And where's the evidence for this? Well, we have we, we have the Bible. Yes. Ah, the very Bible. But our external sources from historians as well. Which historians? Josephus, Suetonius, Lucian, and Pliny the Younger. Okay. Okay. So these historians. Yeah. They got the evidence from where? The Bible. From the oral, oral tradition, where the message was getting like transmitted orally. But you know, do you know somebody called Justin Martyr? Justin Martyr. No. So Justin Martyr was a church father. And Justin Martyr actually said, the Jews wanted to change the message of Christ. They wanted to change the fact that he did not die and raise us from the dead. So if any Jew was to change the message of Christianity, it would have been the crucifixion. That's what they would have changed. No one, it would be, it would be, it's a blasphemy act for God to come down to die for our sins and raise from the dead. But Nobody was to write something like that. It's a very blasphemy act. Sorry, I just thought about something just right now. You said, so nobody's ever denied Jesus is God. All scholars agree that Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross. So, okay, so everyone agrees that Jesus Christ that died event, on the cross. That event had but happened. the idea that because he died and came back makes him God I didn't is say denied that. by certain Christians. I didn't say that though. What do you mean? I didn't say that, that 
I, I didn't talk about that being him, him being God, did I? No, but you said, you said, how can someone come back from the dead? Yes. Unless because yeah, dead. because Jesus, he Jesus said this: destroy this temple, and in three days I yeah. will raise it up. If Jesus was not God, how can he raise himself back up? It's because oh, Jesus' yeah. spirit is forever okay. living. Okay, I agree. And his divine spirit was okay. what raised the human form up. Okay, okay. But the issue is now. So, I just want to make sure. I don't, I don't want to misinterpret your words. I'm trying to be respectful here. You're saying because Jesus was able to do these miracles. Yeah. I didn't say that. No, You're no, running. Sorry. Uh, I, uh, uh, I was saying this. First of all, what I told you, what I said to you was that Christianity is based on the crucifixion of Christ. Yes. And then you said that, you, then you said how Christ isn't not God because he did not raise himself up from the dead. But Christ himself said that he no, will no, raise himself no, up. I know, I know, I'm trying to understand you. I'm not, yes. don't, don't look at my, I'm trying to understand okay. you just before I make my point. Okay. You're saying yeah. Jesus Christ, when he rose from the dead, yeah. okay, what does that mean? Well, Jesus. that means Christianity is alive because Jesus is alive. Is alive, alive. Alive. Because we serve a living God. All these prophets, Buddha, Krishna, Muhammad, they died. Is there any proof that came back alive? Moses died also. Yes, and but Jesus Christ, when he died and came back alive, it means all his words he said about Moses, Abraham, it means they were true. Jesus said he's the way, the truth, the life. He Wait, said he's the resurrection. Hold on. He proved himself he's a resurrecting re resurrection by okay. resurrecting himself by back resurrecting up himself. from the dead. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, and, I, I and, get you now. and what that proves is that there will be a resurrection for us. For, uh, by Jesus resurrecting himself from the dead, there will be a resurrection okay, for okay. us. I understand that. Yeah. Because Jesus rose from the dead, yeah. this confirmed because he said I will rise from I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. come back from the dead. Yeah. That confirms yeah. that these other things. Okay. Yeah. Okay then. Okay. I see your point now. Now, because he was able to confirm you know, like, what's it called? But it's, it's not, he's not confirming he's God though, still. He did. But if he confirmed he's God, why is there a debate on it in the Nicene uh, Doctrine? Because Nicene like, like we have in the Quran, some people may have different opinions. The Aryans, they had different opinions. Does not mean it wasn't God. No, but again, you're saying this, but no, <laughs> this is a fundamental belief in your idea. There is no fundamental belief in Islam. But you know, Aryan, so Aryan, Aryan, he was a, a lot of Christians will say Aryan, was a very unintellectual guy. The arguments that Arius, Arian brought up in the Council of Nicaea is very unintellectual. Saint Augustine, I believe, was the one who rebuted Arian. And the argument Saint Augustine brought up, which is what we look at, Saint Augustine's origin, these church fathers, these are our main authority. So, and they say that Jesus Christ was God. Ah, uh, okay. So, the Nicene doctrine, yeah. the, uh, what do you call it? Nicene what? Council of Nicaea. The Council, Council of Nicaea, Nicaea. yeah. This, this event, yeah. It's, it's evidently a, a major event in Christianity. I would say it's a, it's a big event. It's a big event. Yeah. But how can a man who you claim, All right, a man you claim yeah. to be uneducated, mm. who is false. Who, Jesus? No, 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 no. The man who brought up the Nicene doctrine, who, yeah. who questioned the divinity of Christ. Yeah. How can an event revolve around him mm. if he's a deviant? For example, us Muslims, there is no major event. No, we debate a, 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 a deviant, yeah. which is marked in history. Do you know why? Because yeah. all the rest agree, no, he's wrong. But for there to be a major event, it means there was a substantial portion of people so, agreeing okay. with this man. So in the old, in the ancient sources, the, when, you, when, when somebody, they would have their students, and their students would also be in the debates. But when we see the Council of Nicaea, we can see that the debate of Christ's divinity coming over Aaron's, Aaron's argument and his students' arguments. That's what we see. I'm processing. I'm processing. Forgive me, I'm pausing. I'm processing. But if you look in the Bible, we can explicitly see that Jesus was God. There's no doubt about it. Most Christians. Oh, no, no. From what you read in the Bible, yeah. it's clear. But the issue is, we can't trust what the Bible says. Because you admit it. But we, okay. but we have external sources. Okay, that's why I'm I'm taking you to the foundation. I get, yeah, we have external sources confirming the resurrection of Christ and the crucifixion. These external sources, for example, us Muslims, our main source of authority is the Quran. How do you know that's the word of God? Because no, no, us Muslims, we agree on this. So but, how, like, but how do you know that's reliable? Uh, how do I know this is reliable? Firstly, we know it has not been changed. You're saying, uh, what's his name? Uh, Green. Stanley Brubaker. Yeah. He's Yasser Qadi. Huh? Yasser Qadi. Yasser Qadi is a deviant. He's an American and Muslim scholar. That's the issue. I can bring, uh, what's his name? Uh, Al-Baghdadi, the leader of ISIS. 
he was also learning, teaching Islam. Does that make him a scholar of Islam, a reliable? Uh, but Yasser Qadi is a scholar. He's, he's reliable. No, no, he's not reliable. He's reliable. No, he's not. Shall yeah. I say why? Because what teachings does he follow? Like for us Muslims, yeah. we have the major scholars of Shafi'i. Which one's right? Is it Hanafi? Is it Maliki? I, I already told you this. They're all right. How? Because none of them debate about idea of Quran, of Tawheed. What they argue is, for example... But would they, they would debate about the, like, you, like, you know how you're Shia and Sunni? About Muhammad being the Imam Ali or Muhammad or Mirza Ghulam. Which one's, ah. right? Which one's right? Which one's right? Shia and Sunni, firstly, I believe Sunni is right, but the issue is that Shia... See, it's opinion based no, as well. No, hold on. Shia don't argue the main concept of Quran, Tawheed. But the main concept of Christianity is the crucifixion. No, no Christians argue on that. But the crucifixion... No one argues on no. that. The idea of crucifixion is... Yeah. That was it called. His crucifixion means that Jesus, what he said was true, which means Jesus is God. Because of what he said is true, which and he was saying. Well, I didn't. Okay. Even if Jesus never said he was. No, no, I'm not saying he said he's God. I know. No, no, but I'm saying even if Jesus said he was not God. No, he never said this. No, okay, I'm not saying okay. But even if he said he wasn't God, even okay. if Jesus was just a prophet, all right? Okay. The crucifixion still stands. The resurrection still stands. Okay. But that means if Jesus said, I am not God and he was crucified and rose from the dead that confirms he isn't God what do you mean? you just said no no okay I said okay uh, I said the crucifixion and the resurrection is a historical event that happened no I know I agree scholars have not even focused on the divinity of Christ but they know for sure that Christ was on the cross and some okay. even believe that he came back to life from the grave. Okay. So that's what proves Christianity. No, but you're then comes in the doctrine of the divinity of Christ. Which is mentioned in the Bible, am I? Like, it's not the mentioned directly, but it's, it's there. The divinity of Christ, yeah. 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 Okay. So you're, so you're saying that his resurrection confirms the Bible. Or his, his doctrine Conf of confirms Christianity. Confirms it's Christianity. True, yes. And confirming Christianity means confirming the divinity of God. Okay, so some people, so some people may have have different opinions. So some people believe a, a few minority may believe that if you believe Jesus is not God, you're not a Christian. But I don't, I don't believe that. I believe those some Christians they they disagree with the divinity of Christ, and I still believe they're Christians. I still believe they're saved. Now, now you just you just fall into a hole. How? Of now just saved because you just said Jesus by coming back from the dead confirmed Christianity. Yeah. And Christianity confirms the divinity of Christ. Yes. Yeah. But if people reject the divinity of Christ, they're still Christians. I believe they're Christians. And you believe they're still Christians, yeah. meaning their point is valid to some extent. No, which okay. means Jesus. Not and there's a possibility not, Jesus is in God. Not every, not everybody's going to be right. But we have to look at the what, what our authority is, and our authority is the is the church. Is the, is, is the church which church so we have to we look at the the church which the apostles built upon and jesus built upon which so is, so we look at the writings of these apostles so we so as, as so a lot of man can have different opinions but we don't look at man's opinions if somebody wants to find out something they will have to look at the apostles for themselves ah, and the teaching of jesus for the okay, yes. okay, okay, okay. but the apostles never said if you deny jesus christ to be god you're not saved did so, they say that no so jesus that never means, said that so that means there's a possibility Islam is right about Jesus that he isn't God. Islam, okay, so but Islam can be right. We believe Jesus was a Messiah, but we also believe he was God because of the things he has said. No, but you said there's but a the possibility things, he isn't. I didn't say that. You said that I, people. I who, said people, some Christians, like Jehovah's Witnesses, yes. they disagree with the divinity of Christ. Which, and they're still Christians. They still, I believe that some, those who confess that Jesus is Lord, he died from the grave, they are still saved. Ah, uh, but that's the issue. But, but as, you, as you're saying, like Islam this denies the crucifixion of Christ. No, no. It denies the resurrection no, no, of Christ. No, no. That's what we believe in. No, no. But let's, let's ignore the Islamic rejection of the, the cross. Okay. I'm saying Islam says Jesus is in God. Mm. And you're saying there's, uh, there are some Christians, like Jehovah's Witnesses, yeah. who says Jesus is in God. And they're still Christians. Meaning, they are still their, their belief is still in the fold of Christianity. Mm. Which means Islam is still in, like, Islam is also correct. There's a possibility Islam is no, correct. No, because you deny the foundation of it. The foundation ah. is the crucifixion and resurrection. And you completely deny that. Okay, so. When many historians, Josephus, Suetonius, okay. Lucian, you. Tony the Younger, they yeah. all agree with the crucifixion of Christ. But Islam so, denies that. So Christ Christianity is based on the fundamentally hesitates on the idea that Jesus is God. No, no. No, no. But it... It's based on the crucifixion and resurrection. That's what. 
It derives from the crucifixion and resurrection. But the crucifixion and the resurrection doesn't confirm Jesus' divinity. It, confirm, it confirms his divinity. It does, in a way it does. It, in a way it does because when Jesus said he will destroy his temple and in yeah. day, three days rise up, we know if he wasn't God, how can he do this? Himself uh, raised himself from the dead. But as you know, some, some Jehovah's Witnesses were like... Yeah, where's that? Right there, behind that wall. Okay, sorry, I'm just asking about... Some, some like Jehovah's Witnesses will, will deny the idea that Christ rose himself up from the dead. But they believe he did it by the works of only the Father. You know, so some, that's the kind of like different beliefs that we have. Okay. See, look, again, this for me... It's for me, I'm, I, I believe we aren't going to be able to agree. Okay. But, okay. but, but... I've got a great as well, man. The issue is for me is, and I cannot be... Uh, 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 what's it called? Couldn't, like, I can't side with you on this. It's simply because of the fact is Jesus' divinity, we're hesitating on that fact. The Christians are hesitating yeah. on that like fact. Like how there's many debates on the recitation, Rosh Quran, the Quran, with, with the Quran, the, the there's with, many debates on that as well. The recitation is how we say it. No, no, no. What? There were seven different Qurans. What, what are those? There were seven different Qurans. What? And then why did Usman. He, Wait, so. so we know there were seven different Qur'ans in the Qur'an. How do we know this? Because it says in your Hadith. What? In Bukhari. What's Bukhari? Okay. And then he said there were seven different Qur'ans and Uthman decided to take away the six and keep one Qur'an. Oh, no, no, hold on. Then no, how? I'm yes. sorry, I'm going to have to pause you here. Uthman, there wasn't Qur'ans. At the time, there was like, as you yeah. said, they were writing it. But the issue is, we didn't just write it, we had memorized it. There was only one Qur'an. Yeah. But there was multiple. But there are still seven different Qurats. No. Qurats, yes. There is one Quran. Qurats, Qurats, not Quran, Qurats. Oh, what's Qurats? Qurats. Oh, so I thought you said Quran. No, no, no. What's Qurats? Okay. So Qurats was, they were like, they, they were like recitations. Ah. Which is why you see different translate, like different Qurans, the Hafs Quran, the Rosh Quran, the Duri Quran, which is why there's different translations. Because no, no, hold on, hold on. they're based it upon the seven Qurats. No, no, no. This, the Qurats, the Qurats. All right, I've got to go in, I've got to go. I've got to go in. Uh, I'm sorry, it was right. great meeting you. Great meeting. It was okay. great meeting you. All right, do a wrap up, brother. Okay. Uh, where can I watch this debate again? I'd love to see it. Huh? Soco Films. S-O-C-O Films. S-O-C-O Films. I think I've got to go in there, man. Oh, it's all quick wrap up. Hold on one second. second. Sorry, Baba. S-O-C-O Films. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. It's separate. Oh. Oh, there you go. Okay, Thank you, Baba. Okay. Yeah, so... Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, the, 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 it was a nice guy with this guy. He was kind of, he was kind of knowledgeable yeah, guy. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's a nice debate with this guy. He was just talking about the reliability of the Bible, about John 7:53, if it should be in the Bible or not. How can we trust the original message of the Bible? I tried to, you know, t tell him about the oral tradition we had, the manuscripts we have from the Church Father quotations, is what we have today. Um, I told him about the different recitations of the Quran, how there's different karats. There's different translations, there was different debates in the Quranic time. I talked about how Uthman uh, burnt the manuscripts and only kept one Qur'an. And yeah man, it, um, I talked about how we Christianity is based on the doctrine of Jesus Christ's crucifixion and resurrection. Doctrine, the main fundamental doctrine is the crucifixion and resurrection of Christianity. If the resurrection of Jesus Christ is true, it means Christianity is true. Then later on comes the divinity of Christ. Just because somebody may have different opinions on the Bible does not mean they are not they are, they are unsaved. We are man, we are flesh, so sometimes we can misinterpret things, but does not mean they are unsaved. The main thing to look at is the resurrection of the cru uh, uh, and the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. If that stands, Jesus Christ is true. And the Quran confirms the angel and Torah, which I explained to him, but he denied it. But yeah, may the Lord bless, may the Lord bless you all.